To find the oxidation number for each element in CaNO3-2, calcium nitrate, we'll use these rules here. First thing we need to notice is there's no negative or positive charge after the compound. That means it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. We can see calcium, which is in group two on the periodic table, that's going to have a plus two oxidation number. Nitrogen, we really can't tell. We don't have a rule for that. And nitrogen can have a different oxidation state depending on what it's bonded to. But oxygen, oxygen is always minus two with just a few little exceptions. So we have that. We could call the nitrogen X since we don't know it. At this point, we know that all these oxidation numbers are going to add up to zero. So we could just set up an equation. We could say two plus, we'll just use the parentheses like we have them here, x minus 2 times minus 3 is minus 6. And then we have the 2 outside, and that all equals 0. So now it's just the case of solving for x. 2 plus 2 times x is 2x. Two, 2 times minus 6 minus 12 equals 0. 2x minus 10 equals 0. 2x would equal 10, so x is going to equal a positive 5. So the oxidation number for the nitrogen here, that's going to be plus 5. The other way to do this is to look at this nitrate ion, this NO3, which is NO3 minus. We have two of them. You get two minus bounces out the two plus. And you could find the oxidation states for each element here, knowing that all of the oxidation numbers will equal the charge here, this one minus. There's a link in the description to help you if you want to try that way. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.